is. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah but the problem is these are statistics. And the thing about statistics and well, that's why the site is called Dan Plus. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. But uh, you know, there's there's inter there's translation of messages that the user sees every day and messages that they never ever see. And you know, I, I would like to just have some kind of a, it's, it's a hard problem because you have to look at the desktop and say what actually matters and you know duration that by line so yeah okay so it's, it's good enough yeah. to maybe tell yeah well it seems like that should be a pretty coarse grain qualification as well the difference between 50 percent and 90 percent matters the difference yeah. between 90 and 95 really doesn't I mean, especially since we have a great team of uh translators right and i mean we kind of already do this for di we pick we go in and we say well these languages have you know, a translation is something like 95% of the important messages or whatever. And so then we figure out, well, you know, and then these ones are down 50%. We're not even going to try to offer them to the user because they're not going to be usable or something. I think we can do that. Anyway, it's definitely been counted that way. And you can count things that way. And then, so the last one. Oh, just yeah. Yeah. Um, usually, Oh no no! I'm I'm really only interested in the actual software itself, the packaging. There's really very little of it that I think a user would see if they're installing the default desktop. I'm guessing the, the important thing is the actual menu items and help text and all that kind of thing. That's what I'm curious about. So yeah, if somebody wants to clarify that on the page, that would be great. So, oh, are you nodding because you're doing it, Ashish? I'm not even finding it online, so I'm not good. Okay. You found it? Uh, oh, that's funny. So basically, the links at the top, you don't have a stash bit. I will fix, I will let you see if you're... Go ahead. Uh, I'm trying to remember the uh, screen message. I see. Yeah, I should have installed it. But if you get to the top of this page? Well, oh, oh, this is... Yeah, you can just see the Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> That's not any bigger though. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, the other one down here is media size, which is its own can of worms, but I tried to word it just to say is the CD team happy with media size? Is the live team happy with media size? I don't care what media you pick or what size they are, I just want to know. <laughs> yeah, we're flat split off. I mean, what we, we need to be making a decision on isn't just does it fit on the CD, but which particular image size should we be pushing with the default download, for example. And, and it might also be, well, we would like to provide a very small CD with a full usable desktop, and it might not be the one that's the default if you just go and get DVD. That would be yeah. fine. You know. Yes. In this context, I think it's important also to consider not just um, in terms of physical media, but also uh, you know people who may not have such good internet access who need to get security updates mm -hmm. and maybe do net installs. Mm -hmm. So we're not just talking about. You know, physical, the physical restriction of a particular media size is almost a proxy for a bunch of other costs that come with larger it's standard true, sizes. It's costs to consider, right? I don't know how we could make that an item. Yeah. Um, but, um, I would be happy <coughs> if you just mentioned that as, because otherwise you'll get the objection that you shouldn't be considering media size because people don't want yeah. to download it or something like that. Stick it or you want yeah, well, find the word may I? To, yeah, to say to do, and you know, okay. yeah, that way. Obviously, yeah. once you learn multiple people editing the wiki at once, but to be honest, well, so long as the data ends up, though, we can deal with it exactly. after. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's those are all the things I've been able to come up with you know, that demo. I came up with all of the beginnings. Yeah. Maybe that's all the things. Following up on that, the one, so it's yeah. like more again. Yeah. yeah. As, as Joey says, 
it is entirely feasible for us to have multiple different defaults depending on the architecture, depending yep. oh, on we already, whether it's yeah. on live or install or yep. the size of the media that we want to push through, mm -hmm. whatever. It's possible. I don't necessarily convinced it's always a good idea because it only it does cause confusion to people down the road. Yeah. So it's possible, but let's think about it. Yeah. Um, I guess actually there is one other thing that I kind of left off that I have been thinking about, which is something that the GNOME team mentioned in their message, which is basically you want to have some kind of a continuity between releases. If you can avoid not changing it, it's maybe a good idea too if there's no, you know, if it's not a big change anyway, like from you know, two to three, which I don't know it would have mattered if we had stayed with it or not from a continuity perspective. But, you know, there's no point in flip flopping back and forth between two things. You know, sure. constantly, yes. <laughs> so maybe that's something to put on there. I can't think of much, many other topics to put on there. So if somebody has oh, any mm -hmm. thoughts. So going on, I mean, yeah, so like another one. Actually, yeah. um, sorting out the choice of desktop or whatever it has to its own. Ah, yes. So I wanted to talk about that if I have time, but yeah. I wanted to get this up through this first again. So uh, I'm going to be really controversial now and say that your list should contain on it support for non system D. Okay, well, um, I think for other architectures, <laughs> we do need that. At least. Right, but also non system D on AMD64. Okay, well, for example. This, um, this is, is clearly default, something that, this is clearly something that this the fair few people want. This is the default desktop, and the default install already has system D in it. So it's kind of a, if you want to install non default, then you're probably picking the desktop anyway, aren't you? Uh, I would echo a related comment there that the default isn't what everybody uses. The default is what people who don't necessarily have the experience or the knowledge to change the default yeah. should use. Just to be clear, this is for people who don't know what the word is going to KDE, XFC, LXD, X, yeah. Wibum, et cetera. Yeah. Exactly. And, okay. and that set of yeah. folks probably doesn't want to be choosing or, a non-default in it. don't care what they mean. Yeah. We're not going. We're not removing people's Okay. People's okay. Choice, thanks. Otherwise. You made your point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I have a second point, which yes. is um, post-installation flexibility and configurability, yeah. which is something that it seems people do care about. And apparently, there are. You know, I don't really run any of these things, but apparently, there are people have views on this. Oh, you mean of the desktop? Right. So, you're so, so yeah, you know, I mean, you know, yeah, there's nothing here about how well does the desktop or the, work. Yeah. You arrange your, your uh -huh. UI approach. Yeah. I mean, there's there's nothing here about how configurable is the desktop, how well does it work, how popular is the desktop. It's, these are these are things we could put on here, I suppose, but they're awfully soft things to try to get any kind of a, you know, um, you can get a gut feeling about them. Okay, so yeah. in that case, what I'm saying is, Please don't make this decision based only on measurable criteria. Okay, well, <laughs> because no, you was, know that way lies yeah. management. Uh, so <laughs> the, the problem here is if we if we just do go with a gut feeling, then people are like, well, it has some indicators or Joey is just making them some random choice out of thin air or out of you know bad magazine articles or something. <laughs> and if I go with quantifiable material, I'm obviously leaving out data. We're leaving out gut feeling data. And so, so one I, <laughs> possible I'm, approach to this, I, 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 two approaches I would suggest that you might use to deal with this problem is explicitly list non-quantifiable things on your wiki page as things that will be taken into account but which we don't consider measurable. So we're not asking for a report for, but which I'm considering. Mm -hmm. Another thing you could do would be to treat this page merely as an input that produces you know, like a acceptable, not acceptable flag, and then you choose yeah. somehow which from the remaining mean, set. If, if we get a set of more than one items that are acceptable, <laughs> then I think there's going to be a decision that's yeah. made on some kind of a, other basis because, you know. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't think this page really says how this data is going to be used. It's just data that I think would be good to have. and. I think it's good to get this, get input okay. from as many teams as you can who are related to it, and somebody has to make the final point to us or whatever. I, I think the analogy to the architecture requalification process is actually relevant here. We're not necessarily trying to right. rank and pick the best. We're trying to say these pass, yeah. these don't. Exactly. Which ones actually pass? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. 
things. We don't have a concept of which architectures are better than others. We just have what's on ftp.me.dev.me.org and what isn't. I don't know if that's actually true, but we certainly have you know, no processes in place based on AP16 building faster and on being more popular than MIPS and things like that. Yeah. So, sorry, I'm not like familiar with the MIPS mean, process, but like what part of the time frame you are speaking of? I'm sorry, the, the, the time frame you are speaking oh, of? To make this when, decision. Yeah. Well, we have to do it before the freeze, or yeah, it will not have to get We are going to be making a decision in the next four to six to eight weeks. Yeah. So, so we can have to make a decision or implement it before the freeze. We have to have, you know, documentation, images yeah. sorted out, lots of yeah. stuff. So the sooner the better. Um, I'd like to, if I can find the time, start mailing the teams during DevCon and get their feedback. And if you're thinking if the GNOME project would like to get involved and produce statistics for translation data or something like that, yeah. I guess uh, we could try to do that. I, I guess I'd rather just let the GNOME team figure it out. <laughs> I mean, in Debian. Um. On the Twitter page, you, I mean, uh, it says almost all items are, are going to be relevant every hundred minutes. Uh, right. System D is right. the part because it basically does the Debian default desktop match Debian standards. That's kind of the generic. So, and yeah. there some other items up to off. I think this is what I mean, this is what right. right. That's a good question. Yeah, although I know the factors should be more factors and we can map by all means. Yeah, I mean <laughs> and you can't generalize this to me and say it's something like, you know, does the desktop integrate well with Debian or something. I just wanted something specific yeah. because yeah. clearly system D is one of the main topics now. But if anybody has another idea, please raise your hand and we'll put it up here. Um, a lot of those would fall under that first category of packaging of does this have you know RC bugs or important bugs of is this horribly broken? Mm -hmm. Right. Some um, who wants to teach? That some of them are more integration. To be honest, the first one maybe is not something that's just packaging, but I guess maintenance. In fact, do we have a reasonable sense of packaging and maintain <laughs> to keep it going? Right. As opposed to the, the technical set, which is further down. Does it work well right. with X, Y, Z? Yeah, I think packaging yeah. kind of you want. You know, there has to be a maintainer team where they can't report on it. But yeah, I think, yeah, I think you have to kind of factor in the, the quality of the team too. But but also my feeling is, I mean, I know that the XFC team was a small team, mm -hmm. but does that really mean that they couldn't be the default desktop just because they're overworked? I mean, mm -hmm. I think we have lots of small overworked teams in Debian that still manage to do something. It's a default. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, without really fully appreciating the context, I wonder if we could put heat on desktop's uh, developers uh, by including as an additional criteria for evaluating them by respect to people's privacy. Well, I didn't hear that. Can you hear okay, that? yeah, the, so, uh, the idea is could we make one of the criteria that, are, that the desktop respects the user's privacy? So, so I know the GNOME team talked about or the, the message that um, from the GNOME folks talked about how they're working to do that, but I don't know any details and I really don't, really, don't really know how you can quantify it. It could be a, it's obviously a goal of streams, so they're doing stuff. Um, so some examples uh, would be, for example, uh, progression towards sandbox applications for isolating things. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe integration with things like Tor, uh, not sending the user's keys to some <laughs> server and use to it. Right, stuff right. Stuff like yeah. I think if we do that, we should have a privacy section and then basically a checklist. Mm -hmm. And it'll be a, like disappointingly long, but that's fine. And it'll just be like, within the yeah. privacy area, what, yeah. how, which of these does the desktop actually do or not do? That seems uh, that seems like a pain, but also it seems hard to do. Uh -huh. Or we could just say, are there any like open privacy related bugs or something like that? The and problem with that yeah. is, uh, then you end up at the mercy of you end up at the mercy of the really uh, mm -hmm. subjective evaluation of the question of did anybody bother filing a bug about it? If it happened to be true that LXDE uh, woke up one morning and added LXC jailing to every application and uh, removed user agent strings from web browsers and so on and so on, 
no one would know probably. Certainly no one would follow a bug related to it. Right, okay, sure. Yeah, well, I guess we could put private seal on the table on all four, I suppose. Oh, well. uh, personally, I would advocate to figure out how to, yeah. Based on the number of different axes there, from affirmative efforts to improve privacy to just don't have any crazy bugs, I'm wondering if rather than making it a column, a row in the table, if we could just put it under that set of, here's some soft criteria we should consider. Yeah. I don't think we have hard quantifiable ways to yeah. talk about which desktops are more private than others. Well, you could sort of make a checklist. Uh, sure, but that checklist is going to look a lot more like, here are the features this desktop is working on, exactly. here are the features yeah. that desktop is working on. Yeah. It's hard to compare yeah. those. Yeah. You the checklist. It's a, it's exactly. A, yeah. Okay. Anyway, it's, at some point, that checklist starts looking like, looks like GNOME, or looks like KDE, and that doesn't work. I think you can measure more of that, but it also sounds like it's a whole lot of bomb. Do we have a, I mean, we don't really have a team in Debian that is the privacy team. Uh, we have various, what, we could talk to the board. No, I'm not a privacy team. Huh? You know, I'm actually not having a wife. We should have something that we need to do. We should have something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you know, the privacy team could maybe use a little more time to inspire them to maybe work a little bit faster than things that they keep doing. Perhaps we have a privacy Perhaps we have a privacy team and nobody knows who they are. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a, a question from IRC from yeah. Peter Van Holsten. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's asking how about making it easier for the user to choose among these desktops. Right. So I guess, yeah, um, there's not any other things to add here. I, I do want to get to that um, better. Uh, I hope you can hear me, and I'm sorry if you can't, but like I said, yeah. <laughs> um, let's see, we, okay, yeah. So yeah, I guess we can go ahead. Um, does this, before I do that, I just want to know, does this basically make sense to anyone? Is there anyone who this doesn't make sense to? Who thinks there's some better way to do it, or that we should just go with it? And obviously, there's no no possible way this could, you know. This you is have a clearly useful way of doing it. Good, good. Uh, Russ came up with the idea. It has to be a good idea. Just right? <laughs> <laughs> not saying if I was totally, but yeah, this is a, a clearly sensible way of working. Yeah. And then, good. to be honest, if there is anything that any of the various desktop teams think is really important to them and we haven't thought of them. There is scope for them to at least give us somewhere at the bottom of the page, yes. and we can summarize and work through it later. But we need to have a central place for tracking the data, and that's exactly what this is. Good. Um, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, at the risk of being mildly controversial, is it worth taking a straw poll of the room? About oh, choices? Yeah. Do we want to turn the camera off? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really useful because it's, what's wow. important is to know how to do What's that? I just thought I'd, I just thought I'd ask the, the idea. To be honest, I'm out you strongly no. This room is self-selecting already. The Fair people, enough. You know, I mean, I would personally vote no. All the desktops are crap. Let's have none of them. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a special snowflake. Well, I acknowledge the camera turns off first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think the point of having a, a set of concrete criteria is specifically to avoid it developing into a strong wall. So yeah. yeah. Fair so, enough. Yeah. We will end up using this as a basis for some kind of subjective decision anyway. Well, let's at least have the information available to make a sensible mm -hmm. decision. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you, uh, I'm afraid that what the architect architecture, we can efficient process is not about choosing one, it's about right. Right. choosing many which are and Now, the question I have uh, asked myself is, with those questions answered, are we going to be able to choose a desktop? Well, at least, we'll be able with, to, what you say? at least we'll be able to choose from a set of desktops that meet the criteria. Yes. Right. We will find or out if any of the desktops that people have mentioned are clearly not suitable for some reason that we may not yet be aware of. So we'll be able to drop some, but yeah. Yeah. At least we'll be able to say we know that the okay. desktop that we've chosen to be honest, meets these criteria. If, the, best the, if the, best the people on the best. desktops we haven't yet listed yeah. come up and give us the information uh -huh. here, It'll tell us enough information to say, is it worthwhile, Joey, me, various other people, putting the extra effort in <coughs> to make sure that there's an extra CD value for those people, and all that kind of thing. Um, yeah. This is all useful information before the release, so let's have it, please. Yeah, I do. And then, um, <coughs> regarding trying to help, uh, so many concerns for the uh, people 
people who fixed uh, who have um, sort of desktop manager may want to pretend to become a desktop environment, meaning something altogether. Maybe on this page we could have a, a checklist uh, uh, something which says to um, be able to come to this list, uh, you should have what um, you, you should provide a certain amount of features. Uh, you should have a, a, a file manager. You could have um, I, one, blah 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 blah. I would rather just say anything that is commonly accepted as some kind of a desktop environment and that is generally thought to be broadly enough usable. You know. Consider. It's a discussion that we've been had bumped like this. I mean, if, yeah. you, I, you know, if somebody does come up and say, Hi, I'm, I'm advocating the FEWM desktop, and I think we have all of the bits needed, then to be honest, we can let's talk about it. You know? But yeah, we'll talk about it when it happens. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, oh, yeah. Do you plan on doing this every stable release? <coughs> yeah, that's the idea. I don't know if I plan on it. Oh, do you, do you envisage this, this kind yes. of process being yes. That's why it's got the so just I have a comment on that is that it, if we think that this is something which is mainly for the benefit of people who don't know what a desktop environment is, and every stable release, oh, we come, you see where I'm going, right? Yeah, we yeah, come yeah. to a different decision. Yeah, this could I, be quite I a disturbing earlier, thing for someone who buys I a laptop. I earlier that we might want to have an item saying is it similar in use to the previous yeah. desktop yeah. environment. It could be yeah. something which is worth explicitly considering. Yes, I, I what, think so. Is the transition between the previous one and this one so quite start. a disturbing one or not? Yeah. I'm going to add a consistency. Yes, consistency. You're going to add it. Thank you. Sure. Um, so, yeah, so, okay. So, I think we're about done with this page. Uh, let me uh, <laughs> then talk about desktop choice and task cell, or rant about it, maybe. I don't know. Um, so, currently, task cell, when it comes up, in the installer has 10 items in the menu, um, which is a not coincidental number because it's the maximum number of items in the menu that I'm comfortable with having, just because it can get a little overwhelming to be confronted with you know, 20 or 100 or 200 or 1,000 choices when you're installing them for the first time. Um, yeah, we used to drop people into deselect at the end of the mass. Yeah, yeah. lots of people. Right. Um, I would actually, I've actually been considering removing some of the items from it that aren't very often used. And now that we have task cell data, we can actually say, well, this many people choose a file server, which is actually a surprisingly large number of people who look at it. Um, but we actually can know which ones are you know, popular. Uh, you yeah. talked about having more tasks being right. you say few words about it. Sorry? Maybe you can say a few words yes, about Yes, that's where I'm that's where I'm going. So what I what I do feel comfortable about is having like, you know, some kind of an escape hatch to say, oh, you know, give me more. So the, the problem is that implementing that in the constraints of DI is kind of annoying because you're using DevConf and the current menu item is a multi-select list. So I wouldn't mind having a more at the bottom of it. I'd be great if it were a button, but unfortunately, DevConf can't currently do custom buttons. So it would have to be a menu item saying more. You pick that, and then you're plopped into another screen that has probably all the main desktop environments listed here, and also blends and whatever. Um, which in that list could be 10 or 20 items. I don't know. I don't really care, except I don't want it to be more than. 100 we're doing something very wrong, let's, say, yeah. let's put it that way. Um, so, but there are some technical problems with that because the user may have selected desktop environment first or they may not have and this is going to influence what the, what's selected in the second list and also we're close to a release and we have to get all this translated and uh, I suppose the design of task cell isn't really Done with this in mind, so I don't know how to do it. So yeah. maybe not for Jesse, but after Jesse, a more flexible task cell thing would be really nice. Anytime somebody wants to work well, on of course, it, it's, it's, it's probably late. As I'm saying, it's too late yeah. for Jesse. If yeah. somebody wants to work on it, that would I mean, be also thing. There have been a, there's been tech reports open for 13 years saying please yeah. add a collapsible hierarchy of stuff, and I'm like, well, we don't have a widget, and maybe we do now in DI. In, uh, but, you know, yeah. yeah. There's a completely separate discussion for a different boff about whether DI should perhaps use DevConf as a backing store for and not a UI. Right. Even to, uh, 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this more thing, it seems like it could be done. <coughs> you know, in the time frame that we have, if somebody wants to do a, um, I don't know if I want to do it or not. I haven't packed on that so much lately. It's probably something we should do as well is actually go through that. The existing set of taxes, as you say, we want to do, it's probably worth slowing down. Yeah. And then definitely also, I mean, these are things we should be reviewing regularly, but they never, we never get around to them until we're coming to a release, is work on what's in those tasks. You know, um, the file server task for a very yeah. long time has included Apple Talk and stuff. And frankly, let's please kill it. <laughs> that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, if you look at the number of changes in tasks all over the past, well, since January, it's been two changes. Yeah. Which is pretty absurd, really. Uh, that seems worth asking explicitly. If someone wanted to come help figure out what should be in task desktop or task something else, where would be the please volunteer here point? Um, okay, so task solo is maintained by the WMU team, sort of, although it's not really part of it. You know, it's kind of odd because it's so cool. It's some of the debut move because but, the yeah. of the debut move people are the people who can so right. care about the most yeah. when, we, when um, we find it. And so. you know, the we get a lot of bug reports saying change this or change that, and it's kind of worthwhile to figure out if the bug report actually makes sense, and then you know <laughs> that way. So if you're interested in you know doing what's in the past, that's always a good thing, and all it takes is. <coughs> you know, clear explanations of why the change is happening, I guess, if you can do that. So, yeah, um, if somebody wants to hack on the more button, the more item, you know, it's just troll code, it can't be that hard, except that, like I said, it has a few point goals. Now, a full flow of adding more options in TaskSell is right down to the bottom of this list again with media. Uh, I've seen discussion from the various blends people saying, yeah, yeah, we want to all get into so everyone yeah. gets it easy. Well, here's the thing. I mean, they all get in. That doesn't mean they're all in those. All in exactly. Uh, so it might be, yeah, you can pick OpenStack, you can pick Debian Science, but it's going to go down with a lot of stuff. Yeah. I don't think this is a big deal for any of those use cases. Maybe one in other use cases, you'll want to have a separate CD and, yeah. and say, well, so that's all One of the things that we've done for a long time yeah. is and it's typically the thing that takes a lot of our effort as we approach it at least, is trying to make sure that the things that task cell wants, the things that are pulled in by the core tasks, all fit on the first CD, the first DVD, however you want to do, whatever you want to target. If we do start adding a lot more, potentially weigh out the packages, which the blends people are we're very keen on, but maybe not everybody else in the whole distro wants. Um, you know, the, the, the concept of a first CD is dead. Yeah, um, I, the I concept think, of a first DVD. I think we need metadata for you to look at and, and know if it's in the four items list or sure. just ignore it. Um, that seems to make sense. We we do have a concept of what the is it essential uh, oh, tasks yeah. and non-essential tasks. Right. So, for example when we come to checking sizes and things, or we will make sure that we put all of the essentials of a particular task on yeah. first, right. and then we fall back to essentially recommend later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this is a very hard thing to do depending on the people who put together the metadata in the first place, is they have all the information to say, well, actually this might be recommended, but without all of this data, you might as well not bother with the first set. Whereas for other people, very much you know, the recommends or suggests are frankly just sugar that really it makes things look prettier, but we don't care about in terms of making an install CD work. Right, right. And the definition of release for what goes in a task is that the recommend should all be installed. Sort of. It is yes. it is kind of not as clear as it could be for sure. Exactly. And making it all fit recursively through the yeah, packaging met cool. metadata. That's it's it's damn hard. hard. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much out of time here. I'm uh, glad that this makes sense to people. Um, yeah. Maybe just on. Uh, did you do you plan to? Uh, some architecture won't may not support to uh, select the primary default desktop. Uh, do we? Are oh. there some other criteria yeah, for second the, for oh. choosing the second second best choice? Oh, you're saying for other architectures? Yeah. Um, well, I think the, what was it, the KFreeBSD already used XFCE, as I recall. Is that what it's I, I think they did. Yes, there was a lot of discussion on yeah. it. 
I've, I've slept since much more. Well, no, I mean, I, yeah, I, I think that that was already the case mm. in the previous release, and yeah. I think to some extent it's really up to the you know the port at that point. But they will obviously have this information, and they can say, well, if we, support two, if we support two different things, and we know which one they kind of prefer we yeah. go with, and we'll talk it over and see what we come up with. It's, it's entirely feasible for the default set of installed media to have a different desktop per architecture. Yeah. Um, it's, it's possible. I don't necessarily like the idea because then we end up with our lease notes, not documentation that people look at. Then changes depending on what, what you're wanting to do or you know which which architecture you're using. That's hard. We just need to make sure that we make it clear to people what's happening when they get tricks. Because yeah, when you said that, gave me the thing. We, yeah. Maybe we should have, try to have a consistent second page space choice. Yeah. So. I have another question, comment from Peta. Uh, he asked if uh, there should be an option to install the hardware specific packages depending on what hardware is connected to the machine. Like if you have a, a TV card installed, a TV application okay. or whatever. Uh, well, see, this seems to me where we're getting into the one of the tasks, although I guess you could say that the, the, the task is I'm doing whatever. The, TV cards, but uh, uh, someone posted a project to Planet yeah. Debian and Debian Develop a while back specifically about that of go detect all the hardware in your system and find the appropriate yeah. well, package. It's called Eason Crumb or Eason mm -hmm. Crumb. That's the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That one. yeah I, I don't know if it needs to be a task as such. Mm -hmm. so so you don't well, I think there's been the depths for the previous stuff. We just ran them, and if they say it needs yeah. this, we install the stuff, and we don't ask the user because we figure they have hardware they want to use it. So we just do the best we can. I think that's the best way. I don't think it's really a test, probably. So I guess the very last thing then before we, before we wrap yeah. up um, who's driving this before we, before we do Jesse? because somebody does need to make sure that we have this actually happens. Um, the, the main reason that I'm unsure if I'm going to be able to work on the more tasks thing is because I want to make sure this happens. So, yeah. like I said, I'm going to try to send out mails to the teams during that call show. And then so, well, does anybody volunteer to do the more tasks thing, you know, you know, the task selection thing? Because that's, yeah. you know, this is the main way of making sure this happens and we're not just having hot air in the room here. I don't see any obvious no. hands. I am sure, sure as hell not volunteering. I've got too much to do already. If we end if up... nobody shows up, I may be interested to do it as you know, uh, but like, I may be also very busy. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. So it will be lovely to have this. Some, if anybody's listening to the on video or is on RFC or whatever, please dive in. You know. Talk to us on Debian Boot, and we'll and we'll go with this. We can't promise that we'll be able to help very <coughs> much, but we can definitely help with new things. Uh, I, the stream is currently stuck. So, what is the exact scope I can relate to the IRC people? There were quite a lot of IRC people looking at yep. the stream, but it's just down. Oh, so, what's know. what's the exact scope of the task? Oh, that's a hard question. The <laughs> the idea though is that it's a task. It's something that you're going to do. With and so you could make it into a mail server or a file server. No, I think one we'll level zoom out. I think the uh, the scope of the task is oh, it would oh, be great if someone task. could make it possible yeah. when you're looking at a selection of tasks, for example, which desktop to install, to be able to say, no, I want something else. Click on more, right. and then so see. So it's adding another okay. comp question and yeah. and yeah. coming up with some kind of metadata to say this is on the more screen or it's on the main screen. That's really all. Yeah. Yeah. Should we should we set up a wiki uh, so that you can think about what to put in more? Um, or so I think it's the best media. Uh, there are already several bug reports on tasks all about this, so I can just you know go over them. Pulling it together in a wiki page might actually help for some design ideas and stuff. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Go for it if you like. What we'll do. As a short-term thing for Jesse, for that matter, if we review the set of existing tasks in Task Cell, the, the ten that we currently prompt about, if it turns out there's two or three that um, don't make sense anymore, we could always have a default desktop, parenthetically, yeah, you know, or could. KDE or XFCE, and then a few others. I'm, I'm not as happy with that because it comes back to wanting to have the 
default thing for the task cell actually makes sense to somebody who sure. doesn't really know about much about this talk, so, so I'd rather not mention them there, but that is one way to do it. Okay, I think we're completely out of time, so I'm just going to wrap it up. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Yep.